Sydney food scene is thriving, and when it comes to cafe, there is no shortage of options to choose from. Now let's get ready for our first month's visit cafe in Sydney, Celsius at Kiribili. Let's go! Celsius is a small and intimate cafe located on a ferry wharf, making it a great spot to enjoy your coffee. Whether you choose to arrive by ferry from Circular Quay or take a leisurely stroll from Milton's Point, this hidden gem is worth the journey. As you step inside, you will notice that Celsius is a relatively small, with only a few tables available. To make the most of your visit, I recommend coming early or visiting on weekdays to avoid the crowds. Trust me, it's worth the effort. Now, let's talk about the star of the show, the coffee. Celsius proudly serves coffee made with ona beans, which happens to be one of my personal favorites in Australia. If you're a coffee enthusiast like me, you'll definitely appreciate the quality and care that goes into each brew. But Celsius isn't just about coffee, their food is exceptional too. During my visit, I had the pleasure of trying their Mushroom Benedict and it blew me away. The combination of perfectly poached eggs, savory mushrooms and creamy hollandaise sauce created a symphony of flavors that left me wanting more. This place is definitely an Instagrammer's dream come true. The next must visit cafe in Sydney is called Speedos Cafe, located right on the iconic Bondi Beach. But before we dive into the cafe, I have a special recommendation for you. I highly recommend starting your day by watching the sunrise from Bondi Beach. Trust me, it's an unforgettable experience that sets a perfect tone for your cafe hopping adventure. And while you are there, don't miss the opportunity to admire the Bondi Icebergs pool, adding a touch of serenity to the vibrant beach scene. Now, let's head to Speedos Cafe, voted as the world's most Instagrammable cafe. This cute brown spot offers lovely representations of food paired with mesmerizing oceanside views. During our visit, we tried their fish and chips and their caramelized banana pancakes. While the fish and chips were good, it was the caramelized banana pancakes that stole the show. The combination of fluffy pancakes, caramelized bananas, and fresh fruits created a truly exceptional dish. What makes Speedos Cafe truly stand out is its stunning view. With its prime location directly overlooking the beach, you will have the perfect backdrop for your dining experience. Overall, Speedos Cafe is a must visit if you're looking for a cute cafe with stunning beachfront views. Next, Paramount Coffee Project. Not only is the cafe a great spot to catch up with friends, but it's also a fantastic place for capturing stunning photos. As I chat with my friends and sip on my coffee, I can't help but admire the bustling atmosphere and the skilled baristas in action. Now, let's talk about the coffee. The cafe is known for its dedication to delivering exceptional brews, and I must say, they certainly deliver. Their coffee is creamy with a smooth and rich flavor. During our visit, we had the pleasure of trying two of their signature drinks. First, we tried the maple and almond iced coffee. This unique twist on a classic pairs the richness of maple syrup with the nuttiness of almond, creating a harmonious blend of flavors that is both indulgent and refreshing. Next, we try the strawberry and mint iced tea. The combination of sweet strawberries, refreshing mint, and cool ice creates a delightful and revitalizing beverage that is perfect for those warmer days. Now, let's talk about the food. One of their standout offerings is the buttermilk fried chicken. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside, and bursting with flavor. This dish is a truly indulgence for your taste buds. Another must-try dish at Paramount Coffee Project is their crumbled eggs on toast. This classic combination is taken to the next level with a unique twist. Two whole soft-boiled eggs crumbed, mustard braised ham hock and kale. 
So, whether you're seeking a great conversation with friends, a visually captivating space for photos, or a culinary adventure filled with creative dishes, Paramount Coffee Project has it all. Next, Flagstaff Pastry, located in the vibrant neighborhood of Newtown. There is one thing you absolutely must try here, the strawberry watermelon cake. This is Black Star Pastry's crowning glory, with layers of like and delicate almond cookies, fresh cream, juicy watermelon, and luscious strawberries combined to create a flavor profile that is simply divine. And here is some exciting news. Black Star Pastry has recently launched the Strawberry Watermelon Latte. It's a reimagined version of the iconic cake in a drinkable form. I had the opportunity to try both the cake and the latte. And while the drink does offer similar flavors to the cake, I have to admit that I still prefer the cake itself. There is something truly special about the combination of textures and flavors in a cake that is hard to replicate in a drink. So, if you find yourself at Black Star Pastry, don't miss a chance to indulge in the famous strawberry watermelon cake. Trust me, it's an experience that will leave your taste buds singing. The last one is Kingswood Coffee, located in Wood Square area. What sets Kingswood Coffee apart is their commitment to quality. They roast their own coffee, ensuring that every cup is crafted with precision and care. Whether you're a fan of milk-based coffee such as latte or cappuccino or prefer espresso and filter brewing methods, Kingswood Coffee has something for everyone. So even though Kingswood Coffee is a primarily a takeaway coffee shop, if you find yourself in the Word Square area, I highly recommend taking a moment to check it out. Now it's your turn. We have shared our favorite coffee spots in Sydney, but we want to hear from you. What's your favorite coffee spot in Sydney? Share your recommendations and let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.